Vamos reagir aqui ao i3D Printed a Bolt. Basicamente, na teoria, seria impresso um barco na impressora 3D. É isso que vamos descobrir. Venham de ir connosco. Bora lá ver este vídeo. Você já ouviu a dizer que você não quer um barco, você quer um amigo com um barco? Bem, mas o que se você não tem amigos? If you've ever 3D printed before, you probably know what this is. It's a Benchy boat and everyone prints it to test and calibrate their printers, right? I recently saw a video of a guy turning a sandbox into a boat and it made me think, could I make a boat? And not just any boat. You see where I'm going with this now. And I've seen some people print some large <laughs> ones, but not really anything é big enough isso. for people to fit in. É colar o resto do barco? Plastic. If you don't know where I'm going with this now, I cannot help you. So it kind of works out. The file is. already exists for a Benchy, so we printed one. Let's just see what it does. It's going to my file now. So I modified the file, so now it's hollowed out. Try number two. Oh, this kind of works. So naturally, next we decided to print it bigger. Isn't the whole point of Benchy is to not use supports? Shut up. <gasps> okay, so it's tipping, but like you put weight in the back of it. Uh, uh, uh. Se ela imprimir esta merda gigante vai dar raia. Ah, ok. Ok, wait, this is already so much better. Great. Rock. Well, there's no other scientific test to conduct, so uh, let's just start printing it really large now. And thus, <laughs> we printed all the pieces with water tight and use 3D glue. Espera aí, deixa-me ativar. Aí eu estou a dormir na baliza. Estou a dormir na baliza. Vocês gostam que eu ative sempre as legendas e um gajo esquece e depois vocês fodem uma cabeça e vem, não é? Bem, tem mais é de ser. Ou oh, malta que diz, mas não metes em português de Portugal, não dá. Não sei porquê. Eu quando meto português de Portugal, as legendas ficam assim. Será que aqui vai dar? Yeah, não dá. Não sei porquê, mas não dá. Enquanto, quando meto português do Brasil. Modified model just to line everything. Yeah, não dá. Eu não consigo entender porquê, mas dá-me sempre este, este stress do caralho. Portanto, vamos meter lá dos nossos irmãos do Brasil. But even so, there were bound to be inconsistencies. To some of them have gaps like this, while others are put together perfectly like these two. Tá so, gigante, so people ask me, how do you connect all your 3D printed parts together? Completamente gigante, se for assim não vale a pena. But also, I'll take a soldering iron and I'll melt the two pieces together. So over the course of two days, we had finally assembled the most cursed looking boat I've ever seen. Slaps roof of boat. Oh. Don't. Amamos legendas, meus reis. Eu não percebi como é que ela chegou aqui quando eu estava aqui a ver essa cena das legendas. Ela colou uns aos outros. I've ever yeah. seen. Ah, não sei se... Roof of boat. Don't. O vídeo não vai acabar com o arco no fundo do... Não dá menos que isto, cara. Quantas horas é que ela demorou? Acho que ela vai explicar isso depois no final, ou não? Pá, que barco de merda, não é? Vamos ficar ser sinceros, que barco de merda! Mas funcionar? Ela vai meter um botão nisso, não? But before we put it in the water, we wanted to ask someone a lot smarter than us what they thought about the likelihood of this working. If you know the draft of the hull, you know, down in the water goes based off of the weight that you're applying, we can actually calculate pressure that's being exerted on the bottom. We, we just printed a small one and then we put rocks in it. So we just kind of went with it and drove to a shallow portion of the lake to test it out. <laughs> Yeah, mas como pessoa lá dentro vai ser um bocado diferente, né? Putting weight on it. Bro, it's working. I don't see anything seeping in. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. What was that for? No, 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 no. That was not very cash money of you. This is not easy to balance in. 
So we did have a slight stability problem, but on the bright side, no matter how much we pushed down on the boat, no water was seeping in. Wait! Isso é bem bom, caralho. Se ela já conseguiu que não entrasse a água, já é genial. The macro plastic. Thankfully, afterwards, we couldn't hear any water stuck inside the printed parts, so it was time to move on to adding a motor and fixing the stability. Stop. It says stop. This thing's got 55 pounds of thrust. Now, one thing that we do need to keep in mind, I just thought about this. Uh, if the boat flips over and this falls in the water, it's gone. Wait, can we not just like throw the batteries in the water? It's, it's generally looked down upon. We're already walking a fine line with the environmentalists. All right, I'll stop throwing batteries in the water. What? We're gonna use this giant PVC Chance pipe. Chance de dar merda elevadíssima, kind of like mas ela já conseguiu meter o barco na água. Nem sequer sabia que era possível colar essa merda ao ponto de estar mesmo bem colado nunca mais sair, não? E depois vamos ter um pouco de 2-inch PVC pipes que vão passar por baixo para atuar como a cage para manter a boca. Agora, isso foi uma boa ideia, por qualquer razão, nós pensamos que isso poderia ajudar a estabilizar de lado a lado, mas isso acabou se tornando ainda mais instável. Além disso, a boca estava flutando em cima disso, então a boca não estava realmente flutando mais. Mas, enquanto nós estávamos no lago, nós queríamos pelo menos tentar o motor de controle. Oh. And after making sure that worked, it was back to the drawing board for our pontoon pieces closer to the boat. They just clip on and kind of like stay underneath this ledge. So this is what it looks like if we put the full thing on there. So this will clip on. And back to the lake we went. My God, this. I'm doing it again. <laughs> I'm What if the batteries died? <gasps> Come on. No! Yeah. What about that 3D printed submarine idea? Do I have workers comp? No. Thankfully, Dan had caught the battery when it flipped, and our testing area is pretty shallow. But just so it didn't happen again, we modeled and printed a battery box to hold it in place. We also glued and welded down the pontoon clips so they wouldn't pop off again, and we stripped out an old treadmill safety key switch. This way, we could clip the key to our clothes, and the motor would turn off if you were to lean too far away or fall out. We've done it. Get me out of here, coach. <laughs> Está incrível, caralho. Não basta a beira da mata d'água. Is it pulling you? Yeah. Go for it, Captain. Are you going at the fastest right now? No, not at all. What? Go in the fashion! <laughs> oh, this is actually really tough. Oh no. <laughs> Onward, Captain. There's been a guy on the dock this entire time watching us. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> no. <risos> Mano, o gajo estava lá a olhar para ele, estava a pensar o que é que estes gajos estão a fazer? Estão aqui um caralho de um barco de brincar. O que você I know exactly what I want to do. In college, me and a bunch of friends paddleboarded all the way from one side of the lake to the other side of the lake to go get a Wendy's 4x4. I want to make that same trek with the Finchie. Mano, incrível, cara. Apesar disto não servir para nada e provavelmente depois não ser aproveitado para o futuro, uh, acho que é uma cena incrível, tipo aquela ideia de miúdo que vocês têm para querer fazer um barco gigante de Legos e depois não tê-lo a funcionar. Não te mente, cara. <risos> You know, although it is probably kind of weird for the students walking over there, we would walk over there a lot and observe a lot of people doing some really stupid stuff. Kind of like this. So I guess the conduzir acaba por ser. There was literally a dog on that jet ski. I think I see it. Some com a mão assim atrás. Não é tempo usar uma vez, é o que estou dizendo. Um, 
Damn. Mm. You know what? Resourceful. The long-awaited moment. Ele vai buscar uma cena ao Andy, o que ela tinha dito fazer quando ela estava na escola. Paul is right in the world now. Why isn't this video sponsored by Wendy's? This video is not sponsored by Wendy's. This is Emily the Engineer. Is this Lisa? Hello, Lisa. Do you remember the time we all went to Wide Beach and paddleboarded all the way to Wendy's? Yeah. Well, I just did the same thing, but I did it in this. <laughs> so, uh, while we went to go get ourselves a 4 for 4 the sun is, the sun is pretty much started to wreak havoc on uh, a lot of things. I don't Tem know água, so hot that the wire is literally disconnected itself from the battery. Do you know how hot this battery got? That's what I'm saying. And I don't think we should ride that back. Not if we screw it in tight. I can do it, guys. Now this is where things got interesting. We had about 40 minutes to get our kayaks back to the rental place or else we were gonna get fined a hundred dollars. Since I had the nice easy ride on the way there, I let Dan ride the Benchy on the way back. And about a quarter of the way through our trek, we yeah, noticed it was moving considerably team. slower than before. He thinks the battery's dying. Yeah. What do we do? Yeah, we, we got no lights, Jeep. Oh, none? I mean, it's still going, but it's at like no power right now. Can we ask the rich people if they have any car batteries? You guys are wasting time. You should just go back. I'm fine. If the battery dies, I'm right next to the shore. So after some convincing and now only having 25 minutes left, me and Jonathan went ahead to return the kayaks. This is day six of being lost at sea. He was not lost. We could see him the entire time. Emily and Jonathan have abandoned me. Is this my schizo arc? Is this where I can like just start talking to myself? Yeah, this battery's toast, boys. Emily and Jonathan are, are almost under the bridge right now. Hi. I'm Dan. I'm originally from Canada. Getting closer to the bridge. Aloha. What what time is it? Okay, Good we're back. Up. Dan is alive and I have successfully created the best 3D printed masterpiece to ever exist. Now I bet you're wondering, how did you get so smart? Because only a, a, a genius would dare to do what we just did. Well, it's because I trained my brain. Foda-se, cara na cena, rei, já sabem, é uma impressão 3D e podemos todos imprimir barcos e ir... Uh, passar o cabo bujador. Vou brincar, é capaz de saber.